Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to yet another episode of Mr. Bongo. So, no, we are not traveling anywhere in this episode, but I'm going to give you out a very, very useful piece of review. So, we all know that the city is great in the city as well as in the highways. But you must have wondered how does it fare in conditions not known to it, not favorable to it. So in this episode, I am going to tell you the off-roading experience in the city. So watch till the end and who knows, you will find the answer to your questions. We are going to break down this review into three sections. First, we will talk about narrow off-roads with loose travels and mild slush. Then we will talk about steep mountain roads including water crossing and extreme slush and finally we will also talk a bit about snowy surfaces. For each of these sections we will also talk about the driving dynamics and comfort, the ground clearance and the power and top. And at the end I will share the top 3 tips which you should follow to take your city off-road. So stay tuned. So let's start with the first section. The trail that you see ahead is amidst a forest which leads to a beautiful temple in West Bengal. I did this drive last monsoon which is why you see some muddy waters ahead. Now surprisingly city handled all of it very well and just glided through the loose gravels the trail had to offer. The driving dynamics was amazing and the rear comfort seat was also great. The ground clearance was abundant and the power delivery was optimal. For the entire trail, the city returned a fuel efficiency of around 11 to 12 km per liter. The second section is where things get absolutely interesting. The stretch from Siliguri to Zulu through every possible conditions at us. Broken roads, rocky roads, water crossing, sinking formation, slush, it had all. The thought of your car scraping its belly can be really unsettling at times. You are driving a car which you clearly know is an underdog in such terrains. Now you must be wondering what happened next, right? I will let the video do the talking. Let's see how she fares in this test. Looks adventurous? Indeed. There were few nail-biting instances where the ground clearance was just about enough but the city sailed through with some patience and skill of course. There was only one section where the city bottomed out and we had to get it pushed out of the fresh slush. You would not feel the torque to be inadequate ever and the same goes for comfort and driving pleasure. For this entire stretch of about 300 km, the city returned a fuel efficiency of 8 to 9 km per liter. Finally, let's touch on the snowy part. Now, we didn't drive a lot on uh, snow, but whatever little amount of drive we did was mostly on fresh snow and that didn't trouble the city at all. The mantra was quite simple, maintain momentum on the incline and no braking and acceleration while on the decline. Otherwise, it was pretty easy, not unsettling, but uh, I would not advise to take the city to deep snow. 
Here's a glimpse of how much the city ventured into the snow. So now coming to the top three important tips which I think will be useful for you to take the city to the hills. First, try to do a recce of the situation out there. Try to understand how deep is the slush, how bad is the water crossing and that will certainly help you to take an informed decision. Secondly, it certainly helps to have co-passengers who are able to help. So if you have that advantage, please put it to use. Now while doing that, please roll down your window so that you can actually hear what they are trying to say. And finally, trust your instincts and capabilities. You know what, it's perfectly okay if you think that it's not your cup of tea and it's absolutely fine. I hope the two cents that I shared in this video is helpful to you and puts to rest the questions you have regarding whether you want to take the city to the hills or whether you should buy city at all. If you like this video, please hit the like button and support me by subscribing to the channel in the description below. And until the next video, bye bye.